Hi, welcome to the castle. This is a short safety video about bouldering. Bouldering is climbing on shorter walls without a rope. Traversing is climbing sideways close to the ground. Unless you know how to tie in, put on a safety harness, and belay, you will be classed as a bouldering only member and only be allowed to use the bouldering and traversing facilities. The castle offers learn to climb courses where you can learn these safety skills. As a bouldering only member, you will not be able to supervise novice climbers. Only registered roped climbers can do this. Each time you come to the castle, you'll need to check in at reception. You can hire climbing shoes and chalk from the castle shop. You should also read the good practice notices that we have posted around the centre. Bouldering is the activity in which we have the highest rate of accidents. There is soft matting under the walls, but it doesn't make the activity any safer. Broken and sprained limbs are still common. When you boulder, you must accept that at some point you will fall off and that any fall carries with it the risk of injury so you should only climb as high as you feel safe. Holds may spin or break at any time. If you see a spinning or broken hold, please report it to the duty manager or reception straight away. Always be aware of other climbers and where they are going. Keep the landing zones clear. Use the lockers provided for your personal belongings. Stay out of the landing areas at all times. Remember that on overhanging walls, a larger landing area is required. The safest way to get back down the wall is to climb back down. It's a good idea to practice jumping and falling off before you commit to going to the top of the wall. If you must fall, do so in a controlled manner. Finger injury and muscle strains are also common. Warm up properly and start out slowly. Most boulders climb designated boulder problems. These use only one color and are marked with a start tag to give you the level of difficulty. Finish with two hands on the last hold. The problems are only graded for the way up so you can climb back down using anything you like. The easiest problems are graded VB, then V0, increasing in difficulty all the way up to V8 and above. When you're climbing, you can use the walls themselves or the grey volumes on the walls at any time. When the weather's nice, you may want to climb on our outdoor boulders. You can access these through the centre or through the garden. They're open till dusk every day. One of the unique features of these boulders is that you can top out if you want to. Just make sure you can get back down before you commit to doing this. There are good practice notes specific to the outside boulders posted in that area. If you want to improve or make the most of your session here at the castle, we offer classes and coaching. Please see our website or speak to a member of staff for more information. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please ask the duty manager. Remember, climbing and bouldering are dangerous activities, so look out for yourself and for the others around you. I hope you enjoyed bouldering at the castle.